Hello and welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn top 5 AI models or AI tools developed by Google. These AI tools, I tested them and I find them exceptionally interesting and very powerful. All of them are free to use and they are all developed by Google. So to start with, the first on my list is Google Gemini. It's a very popular AI tool available. It came out and replaced Google Bard and is doing wonders uh, anywhere we want. So to access Google Gemini, all you need is to open anywhere within your browser and go to the search bar and just search for gemini.google.com and you can just hit and enter. You can be able to find it over here. Just like the way you see the normal chat bots, you have the option to chat in your things directly and then you'll be able to see your responses. So of course you have to be logged in to any of your Google account. You can just go ahead and ask it anything. Okay, can you tell me the weather in Zaria today? And it's up to date. One of these main features, it can give you exactly what is happening. Today the weather is 22, scattered showers and this is the high the low precipitation and so on this is at this time okay nine o'clock in the morning right so you can see you can go as detail ask it other detailed things can you write the about solar system for me All right you can just go ahead and try this and you can see it is just giving you text uh, directly about solar system wonderful and you can just go ahead and copy and put them anywhere it has its sources and related content if you're interested in moving on with your research and you can go ahead and search click to check responses on google as well okay so it's very powerful it even does some um, image generation can you the image of a cat a bar let's see if you can be able to generate this for us this is a a bit wrong it just picked in the image of um, a bar with people car sitting on a bar stool uh, sipping a tiny cocktail i think this is a bit wrong because i cannot see the cat over here at the moment so but it's powerful it can give you images can give you very fast responses even it's undergoing a lot of training at the moment so you should expect some one or two errors accordingly so this is gemini it's very free just like chat gpt it can give you information related to what is happening right now globally and in any language of your choice so that is gemini the second ai tool that is developed by google and i like it so much is you can go to notebooklm.google.com if you want to uh, for example or you can just go to google on your own and say notebook lm just like so and hit on enter you see it here the first option notebook lm you can just click not taking research ai assistant you can see it you can just try notebook lm it is completely free All right so you can start these are untitled notebooks that i have worked on previously from my account and if you like you can create a new notebook on your own and you can see you can upload document from drive from pdf text file copy text or from a web url bringing documents directly from here so let's say i want to add in a pdf document somewhere maybe this one and i can just uh, incorporate it here okay so right now it has uh, finished reading you can see a summary of the paper okay so the paper proposes a new approach for to flood modeling one that combines hydrological models such as which simulate water movement across the landscape and that's very correct you can check about the study guide table of content timeline briefing the docs these are suggested questions that you can ask but we can go ahead and ask directly so you can see what is the methodology adopted Okay, what is the methodology adopted in this research and you can just hit on enter and it's going to give you exactly what methods is being adopted in this research all right so you can see um it described in the source is a couple dynamic hydrodynamic and hydrological model for urban flood simulation that's uh, perfectly correct and one good thing about it is that it gives you the sources where it picked in the information you can see click on one to be able to access that document and to show exactly where it picked it from okay you picked on true it will go to that particular place and show you this is page two and this is exactly where it picked it from i can copy this directly and you can go to the you can close the chat if you want to if you're interested or you can go to the notebook all right so let's say you copy that and you can add this to your notes you can create a note you can name the note can paste in probably that content that you got okay so you can see right now you have pasted it you can name your note Okay, so once you collapse, you have a note over here in your timeline and you can name this timeline or note in general as um, maybe let's say hydrodynamic. 
okay this is hydrodynamic modeling paper now you can always go back to view chart and you can come back here and you can continue to ask the same question what are the three main types of coupling methods used for this paper hydrologic model and you to just give you exactly what you just asked for okay so you can see right now it has just given us the answer and what we need you can ask for more you can check out the sources where it picked it from and what it has actually used it for okay where it picked it from the paper directly instead of you to have to take your time to read the paper completely it can do that for you and it can summarize everything for you so you can copy this content you can as well go ahead come to you can close the chart and then you can go back over here you can add this or you can add another note separately and you can just go ahead and click to paste your, your note or mind you you have all of these text editing features you can increase the sizing of the header you can bold you can italize you can underline you can even add a link or you can add bullets directly accordingly so it's very very powerful and it enables you to write a lot of things in your own you can select the document and you have the option to delete or select all to add one or two things okay and you can when you select more than one document you can have other controls over here you like you can summarize based on what you have um, taken note of so just related ideas create study guide create outline combined into note to one note you can do that as well so this is very very powerful you can explore it to see how you can use it you can employ you can import different kind of research papers and you can carry out different kind of analysis with it very very powerful so this is my second choice when it comes to the ai models developed by google <music> so the next ai tool that i have used and i find it exceptionally useful and is also developed by google is called the image fx okay you can generate different kind of images with this ai tool so you can access it by just coming to google and you can just go ahead and search for image fx hit on enter you see it at the beginning here image fx ai test kitchen by google all right so you can just click on it and it will bring you over to this very platform of course you have to sign in with google to be able to continue using this and generating different kind of um, images so let's go ahead and sign in with google all right so after reviewing these terms of service you can just go ahead you can define whatever kind of image you want to generate from here for example we can write in can you give me the image of a lion swimming in a beach in the beach all right so you can just go ahead and you can specify this is going to give you four images except if you want these looks okay then this is going to give you bigger look and these small ones and even some smaller ones uh, at the bottom right so you can just go ahead and hit on this create and it, in a matter of seconds you can see it has generated the image of a lion in a swimming pool and it's very very clear and you can hit on this to check on the other images as well you can see how clear this is how powerful this can be for you i think this is very very nice and at any given point if you like the image you can edit it or you can copy it and paste it somewhere or you can download it on your own and you will have that image this much clarity so on you can see very very clear image or for your own usage you can down come down here and edit this very image you can click to edit it and then go ahead and edit it to your choice okay you can edit it you can brush some places increase the brush size and you can clean some sections of it is what you are interested in. and then you can redescribe your your change what do you want to change for example we can change the swimming pool to a desert okay so you can say generate so let's say the swimming pool should be changed to a desert so let's select the swimming pool and say let's change it to a desert and then we can say change this um generate edits and you can see it has regenerated it but it's not uh, much of a difference from we have earlier on so you can see um actually i like what i see so you can just go ahead copy download or you can come to these three dots copy and share a link or you can flag out if you're interested all right but i think this is very very nice and this is wonderful you can just go ahead and give it a try and see what you can do with it all right so you can define or you can regenerate this also uh, if you are interested so instead of beach you can say in a forest or in a mountain or in a desert for example you can say in a forest and click on create all right so you can see it has given us a wonderful image in a forest it is swimming but then in a forest this is um, how powerful this can be please just go ahead and see how you can utilize this to your advantage to your content creation or anything that you might have interest in developing using this same feature but this image effects is developed by google and i find it exceptionally useful you can try it also explore and experience it <music> 
All right, the next AI model that I find exceptionally useful and is developed by Google is called the Music FX. Okay, this platform also lets you create music on your own so you can go free of copyright, you can use it anywhere. This is a music that you've generated using your own description by yourself. Okay, so to access it, you can come to Google, you can just search for Google and you can just go ahead and search for Music FX just like so, and you can see it over here Music FX AI Text Kitchen the same way the image effects okay so you can go ahead and give it your own description create motivational music make it very cool and inspirational okay so you can define however what detail that you want to define and you can just go ahead and say generate this and it's going to generate that kind of image video that you can use create a motivational music make it very cool and inspirational Okay, this is very wonderful. You can just go ahead and explore. You can download it and then use it on your own. You can change it. You say motivational or relaxing, or you can make it inspirational. It can give you a uh, joyful, and then you can make it cool or warm. You can see it has given you an idea. You can say generate again, and this is going to regenerate again for you. You can see. All right, so if you like it, you can come to download and you can just download it directly. And now you have your music of your own. You can make it a background music also for your content creation or the about. And it has many other versions. Okay, so you can see this one. It's very nice. You can change the looks and even the content, melodic, synthesizer, uh, saxophone, funk, jazz. You can change everything according to what you want to use. And you can even enable the DJ mode so you can be able to change in some things. Snappy share. You can adjust some of the intensity of this moon landing and so on. And then you can just add your prompt here. You can say background music for a YouTube tutorial video, for example. <laughs> So to access Google Lens, all you need is to open your phone. You can go all the way to Play Store. If you are using an Android phone, you can go to your Play Store and you can go ahead and search for it, Google Lens directly, and you'll find it over here. You can go ahead and install. Installation is very free. You can just install it directly. And once you're done, you can just go ahead and click on open to open it. Now, one thing you should know is that you can search for anything and understand what brand is it and where can you find it any image of your choice you can take a picture of anything maybe on your system physically you can just have anything and you can just take a picture of it and utilize it so let me give you an example for example i'm using this mouse this is a logitech mouse that i'm using so i want to take a picture of it and i'll find the price of it and what is it even so i'm taking this picture of this my logitech mouse i can just click on this and then i can type in my prompt over here okay what is this okay so i can just go ahead and say search and you can see directly it has just um, identified that this is a logitech m185 wireless mouse that is designed to be comfortable compact and easy to use it is suitable for both left and right handed users here are some more details about it dimension weight you can see better battery battery life 12 month battery life and wireless use a wireless is using 2.4 ghg gigahertz so much you can see other details as well you can be able to check out the pricing if it is what you are looking for or where you can find it you can see it has automatically detected that this is what it's all about and you can see this is all you can check product visual matches and so on about this image you can check about this image and, and so on and it will tell you everything that it knows about it you can see this is just the image and then this is details that it has picked from the image so you can do that on anything uh, let's try one more thing so you can see the benefit of what I'm saying so let's go back one more time and you can see with just that click it has picked in similar images of its choice okay so the next one is let's try to take a picture of this coca-cola bottle and let's see whether it is going to detect what it's all about okay so this is it i can just centralize it and i can just go ahead and take this so let's let me open i can just go ahead and say search by image i can just go ahead and put this this is the bottle 
let's see whether it is going to um, tell me what is it right so you can just hit on enter and by that image alone it would depict that this is a coca-cola is a carbonated sweetened soft drink that is the world's best selling soda you can see it is manufactured by the coca-cola company and you can see the details of it where to find it vision coca-cola is all about and many more searches i think this is very very useful and people can just utilize this for anything uh, depending if you don't know what you are searching you can just go ahead and use it let's search for this kfc and see whether it is going to detect for us as well so let's go by the kfc we can just select highlight and just snap and let's see see it has already detected that this is kfc so you can see let's see what is this okay to just automatically detect and tell us what this is all about and see and see this is kfc is the abbreviation for kentucky fried chicken but the restaurant chain is also known by the other names such in some places other names in some places you can see the details about it so this is very very wonderful and people can use it to their own advantage depending on what you are working on or what you got or you want to know more about you can just go ahead and give it a try and see for yourself so this concludes this tutorial about my top five ai tools that are developed by google and i think they are very very useful you can just go ahead and give them a try and see how you can use them to your own advantage hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and see you bye